Hi, Bailey. Hi. Can you hear me? Huh? Can you hear me? How are, how are you doing? Good. Good. I'm so happy to see you. Are you excited that you're going to be meeting your, your new mentor? Yes. Yeah? And so tell me, Bailey, you're going to be doing um, school uh, from home? No, not the whole time. I might go back to school. You might go back to school? Okay. Okay, but for now, but for now it looks like it's... Um, you'll be doing it from home. And guess who that is right there? Hi. My mentor? Yes, this is your mentor. So before I introduce you to your mentor, I just want to let you know that um, things are going to look a little bit different this year. You know, COVID happening. There's a lot of us that have been staying home and doing things from home to keep everyone safe. Um, and so we're not going to be allowing mentors on campus, you know, just to keep all the kiddos safe and the teachers. So this is what mentoring is going to look like during COVID. You know, um, you'll have your mentor, you know, supporting you through this like video chat or through texting. Um, and so we're not going to get started until either the week before Thanksgiving or the week after Thanksgiving. And so the way that that's going to look is that your mentor is going to be texting you. And I'm just going to look really quick at something here on a spreadsheet. It looks like Bailey. Um, let's see. It looks like your mentor is going to be texting you through your Mainer ISD email. So do you check your Mainer ISD email? Not all the time. Okay, so what's going to happen is... Um, I'm going to be emailing all of the mentors and I'm going to ask them like, hey, like this is the time that Bailey eats lunch. So it looks like your lunch time is right now, right? Is this your lunch time? Is this your lunch break? Yes. Okay. Until what time? Until 1215? Yeah. So then I would tell, you know, your mentor, hey, Bailey has lunch every day at 1145 until 1215. Is there a specific day you want to like text her? And let's say that your mentor says, yeah, you know what? I'm going to contact her every Friday at 1145. So then I would text your mom and say, hey, make sure that Bailey has her email open because in your email, you're going to be receiving the text messages from your mentor. And then you get to respond back through email and then she'll get it in a text message. Does that make sense? A little bit it'll probably make more sense once we actually get started with all of this and then in January we're gonna add a video feature so you'll be able to see your mentor on camera which is gonna be a lot more fun okay but since your mentor is brand new to you and you're brand new to your mentor I wanted to do this meeting so that y'all get to know each other um, you could ask her some questions like let's think of some questions like what is your favorite ice cream what is your favorite color and what's your favorite uh board game so favorite ice cream favorite board game and what was the other question do you remember <laughs> what was the third thing i asked your favorite ice cream your favorite board game Huh? Your favorite food. Your favorite food. Okay. So who wants to start? Do you want to start, Bailey, or do you want your mentor to start? And then we need to tell, we, okay, wait, another thing. You have to say what your name is. How do you want your mentor to call you or your mentee? Like, how do you want to be, you know, addressed? Um, do you want to be called Miss Bailey or Bailey? What, how do you want your mentor to call you? What's your favorite food? Bailey. Your favorite food, your favorite color, okay, and your favorite board game. So who's going to start? Uh, me. Okay, go ahead. What's your favorite ice cream? You're asking your mentor your, her favorite ice cream? Okay. My favorite ice cream is mint chocolate chip. Wow. Mint chocolate chip. What about you, Bailey? What's your favorite? Chocolate and vanilla. 
You have good taste. I like both of those flavors too. And you can call me Katie. That's what I like to be called too. Is that okay with you? Yes. Awesome. So let's see, should I ask you? My favorite food? I love pizza. Yum. If I could eat pizza all the time, I would. What about you? I like pizza too. You do? What do you like on top of your pizza? Cheese, pepperoni, and a little bit of mozzarella. Oof. Sounds like you guys eat really good food at your house. Do you remember, what was the other question? The other question, what's your favorite color? You have a very good memory. My favorite color is green, but the color I wear the most is black. <laughs> My favorite color is pink. Is pink. That's a really good color too. And your shirt is actually green, right, Bailey? I see your shirt is green there. And your headband matches your mentor's uh, sweater. Look at that. We were meant to be friends. There you go. There was one more question. Do y'all remember what that was? <laughs> you tell me if you want a hint, because I think I remember it. What's your favorite board game? Yay. So smart, what an awesome memory. Hmm, I think my favorite board game is the game Sorry, because I like yelling sorry at my little sister when we used to play together. <laughs> what about you? My favorite game is Candyland. I like Candyland too. I used to play that all of the time. And it always made me want to eat candy. <laughs> Is there anything else that you want to tell your mentor about you, Bailey? Maybe what are like things you want to know more about her? And maybe what are some things that you're looking forward to talking to her about when y'all are texting? And maybe even when we come back to in-person and when all of this is over, and we get to do our mentoring the way we used to, what are some things that you look forward to doing with her? What's your favorite, what's your favorite place to go shopping at? My favorite place to go shopping is Target, because they have everything. Well, I like Five Below. It's five Below is store. real good too. You have some good stuff at Five and Below, yeah. What else? Where is your favorite place to go eat at? That is a hard question because I love food so much. Hmm. What about you tell me yours first and I'll try to think of mine. Mm. I like Chinese food. I, really, I like going to Chinese places to eat. I love Chinese food. That's the one food that I can't stop eating when it's in front of me. I just want to eat all of it and then I get a tummy ache. Do you like drawing? I love drawing. Do you like drawing? Yeah. What do you like to draw? Different kinds of moons. Of moons. Can I ask you a question, Bailey? Yes. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal? I like bird. <gasps> Look at that cool bird. It's a good answer. So for a real animal, I really like dogs because I have two dogs and I love them. But for an imaginary animal, I love unicorns. I have all types of unicorns and I keep them everywhere in my house. Do 
Do you have any favorite clothes? Any favorite clothes? Hmm. Yeah, my favorite clothes is my flower dress. Oh, is that a special dress? When do you get to wear that dress? On uh, special occasions, like different kinds of baby showers, like when I'm going places, like when I might to a Christmas party and stuff, I wear it for everything that I'm going to. Wow. I bet you look beautiful in that dress too. Let me see, my favorite clothing. I'm trying to think. So I think my favorite piece of clothing that I have is a t-shirt and it says the word coach on it. And it used to be my dad's and he got it in the hospital when I was born. And then he gave it to me. And so my dad lives far away from me, but when I wear it, it makes me think of him and that makes me feel good. You have a favorite purse? A favorite purse? Well, I just got this for my birthday a little while ago because I really like leopard print and it's a fanny pack. So I can buckle it around my waist and I don't have to use my hands and I can hold I everything I need. Too. I got a fanny pack too. What does yours look like? I can go grab it if you want to see. I would love to. makes me miss all of these interactions. It's just amazing. You're so cute. She's a so watermelon cute. fanny pack. Whoa, that looks delicious. Does it smell like watermelon? No. <laughs> hmm. hmm. Can I ask you one? Yeah. Who lives in your house? Who do you live with? My mom, my brother, that's all. Mom and your brother. Do you like your brother sometimes? Yeah. No? <laughs> Is he bigger than you or younger than you? Bigger. Mm. Sometimes that can be hard. I have a sister who is younger than me and we used to fight all the time, but now we're friends. So that's nice. Friends? Friends. We like each other now. And I try not to be mean. Do you think that will ever happen with you and your brother? No. No. <laughs> Do you have any pets at your house? No. I do have one pet I like. What? My sister's my my sister's puppy. <gasps> Is it a big puppy or a little puppy? Little puppy. Oh, does it have a name? Something in an R. Something with an R. Maybe next time when we start texting, you could tell me what it is. Something with an R. An R. Revel. A good name for a puppy. Yeah. It's very messy. Very messy? What kind of a mess does he make? Uh huh. He runs everywhere. He jumps on couches. He runs on people. He jumps on. He jumps on their legs. Huh. And and he bites. <gasps> oh, that makes me feel a little bit nervous. <laughs> oh no! My oh no! Hi, oh, yeah, Isaac. Yeah. I'm back. 
<laughs> I'm so happy to see you. What's your kind of, what's your favorite toy? My favorite toy, so I'll show you. It's, a, it's not really a toy, it's kind of on my keys, but it's a unicorn. And when I push a button, it makes a noise and it makes me happy. My favorite toy is this. You can, you can spin it around. Whoa. And then you can do everything with it. You know a lot of tricks. You can spin it around, you can do it on your nose, you can do it on your forehead. You can can you do it on your nose? Yeah. Can I see? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. Hmm. Hmm. Sometimes I get nervous in front of new people. Maybe next time we see each other, you can show me. I think it's broken a little. That happens with my toys sometimes too, especially the ones I play with a lot. Sometimes I break them. Yeah, this thing's really old. Ah, have you been using it a lot? Yeah. The first time I got it, it wasn't very, it wasn't very spinnable. But when I played with it a lot, all the, all the emojis came off of it. So you've been working so hard to learn new tricks with that. Yeah, I got it when I was six. How old are you now? Nine. <gasps> That's a long time. When's your birthday? My birthday, July 29th. Oh, the summer. Mine's in the summer, too. My birthday's August 28th. We're like one month away from each other. But it's broken. It's very old. I think I gotta clean it. Sometimes yeah. that helps. Do you have any favorite shoes? I do have favorite shoes, mostly sneakers though. I like being comfy and being able to run real fast. I got favorite shoes too. They what are your shoes like? They're rainbow and they're soft. Where do you wear your favorite shoes? Where do I wear my favorite shoes? Do you wear them at home? Do you wear them to school? Do you wear them with your favorite flower dress? I usually wear them to school. Are you going to school right now or are you doing school at home? Doing school at home. What's that like? Boring. I got a lot of school supplies that I don't really need. And I always have to go to then I always have to go to Zoom meetings. I also always have to go to Zoom meetings. Would you rather see people in person? Me too. It's kind of hard when we're all trying to keep each other safe and healthy. Do you have a Do you have a favorite place in your house? A favorite place in my house. I do. I like my backyard because I have a garden and so we get to get vegetables out of it. And then we have a place where we can have fire in the backyard, a campfire, and I get to watch my puppies chase squirrels. And that's pretty funny. My favorite place is my living room. What makes it your favorite place? The TV. What do you like to watch on TV? Everything. Everything? Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Yeah. What? My favorite is Friends. Friends. I used to watch that a lot too. Do you have a favorite movie? Yes. My favorite movie is Friends. There's a Friends movie? Gotta look it up. Do you have a favorite character on Friends? 
Yeah. That's okay. I like Phoebe. She's the blonde one and she's kind of silly. Yeah. There was a monkey on that show too, wasn't there? Do you think you'd want to have a monkey as a pet in your house? No. Me neither. Hmm. What's your favorite book? Oh, my favorite book. Hmm. I used to really love the book Peter Pan. I know it's a movie and it's a cartoon, but first it was a book and my mom and dad used to read it to me before I went to bed every night. And so that I is my favorite. favorite book. What's yours? I can show you. Okay. Need to watch Friends the movie. Running scared. Can you tell me about it? It's about a it's about a, it's about a girl. She jogs on a she jogs on a race track, and when she runs, she feels scared because other girls are faster than her. But but she but she but she but when the girls win, she bravely goes up and wins all of them. Wow. So even though she was nervous, she still tried her best and she won? Yeah. So cool. Do you like to run? Not really. I usually ride my scooter around. That's pretty cool. What color is your scooter? Purple. Nice. Would you rather play inside or play outside? Outside. Outside. On your scooter? Yeah, because I don't have to worry about knocking down the dam. Hmm. Do you wear a helmet when you ride your scooter? Really? I have to get a new helmet. That one's too small now. <clears throat> have you grown? Yes. Good. I got that scooter when I was seven, and now I'm not. So that helmet is very old. Very old and too small. You have a very good memory. You remember when you got all of this cool stuff. Yeah. I got a lot of cool stuff in my room. Can you, what's something else that's super cool in your room? Something else that's super cool in my room? I like, I like my, I like my small little hoodie. I like wearing hoodie. hoodies too. My hoodie is very comfortable and soft. Does it make you feel safe when you wear it? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes when I'm watching a movie, I fall asleep in it, and I wake up and then take it off. <laughs> Sometimes when I wear mine, when I watch a scary movie, I pull the hood down over my eyes so I can't see what's happening. And, my, and the other cool thing is, is I have a lot of cool purses. I have one purse that is pink and black. I got another purse that is that is a small that looks like like this and that looks like a, a rose and I have a fanny pack. What kind of special stuff do you keep in all those cool purses? Um, toys. Nice. So you always have what you need. Sometimes when I'm going places, I grab one of my biggest purse and pack up clothes. Where do you like to go with your big purse? I like going to my grandma's house. And then I like going to my aunt's house. And then 
I like going to my sister's house. And my sister's house is very small. She only has one couch. So it's fun to jump on it while she's in her room. <laughs> do all of those people live in Texas or do they live far away? My aunt lives in Texas. My sister lives in San Antonio and My cousin, she lives somewhere else. I forgot where she lives. Mm-hmm. She lives very far away. What about grandma? She lives far away too. And do you, do you go places? I do like to go places. Let's see, where do I get to go? So my mom and dad live far away. They live in a state called New Jersey, which is like all the way on the other side of the country. And my little sister lives over there too. So I don't see them very much, but sometimes I get to. It takes five hours to get to my grandma's house. In a car? In an airplane, it only takes one hour. But in a car, it takes five hours. Which would you rather go in, in a car or in a plane? A car. You get to see all the cool cities. That is very true. I like taking long car rides, too. And you get to sing along to the music real loud. And the fun part is you can sleep in the car for as long as you want. And I don't have to worry about my brother knocking on my door do every five seconds telling me to wake up and get on class <laughs> is that what happens now does your brother is he the one who has to wake you up and remind you to get in school he knocks on my door as loud as he can until i wake up and get on to class and then i have to go wake up i have to get on class and i have to do Zoom meeting. All day. All day. But it sounds like your brother cares about you. He wants you to learn and be yeah. smart and be in school. Yeah, he wants me to be in school, but he doesn't go to his class. What? He goes to them, he plays his video games all through class. Do you tell your mom? No. No. He, he hides his controller, but he keeps his TV in front of him so they can't see his TV or the controller. <laughs> Pretty sneaky. He's figured out a way. Do you like playing video games? No, not really. I play game games, but video games, I don't like those. What kind of game games do you like other than Candyland? I like Uno and I like I like Uno, I like I like the Zazzer. I've never heard of that. It's a game and you have to spin a thing and when you hit a number that's how much time you have to push a button and then when you push the button the second and when you push the button as long it spins that water into your face what that sounds kind of fun you push it and you push it and how and when you spin the thing and see how much numbers you have to do you have to push 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 I find a way to defeat the game. You're smarter than the game? Instead of pushing it hard, I push it slow. So the thing, so the thing goes at me. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty smart. You figured it out. Do you tell that to the people you're playing with or do you let them get sprayed in the face? I let them get sprayed. That's okay. I love when you tell your secret. So they can win the game, or you can just keep it to yourself and win the game while to yourself. It's very true. 
I've seen that game where it hits you in the face with like whipped cream. I think it's the same kind of thing. A hand smacks you with whipped cream in the face. I'd rather that's use water. Pine, that's the pie in your face. That's the pie in your face game. Yeah. I love Uno. I can't wait till we can hang out and play Uno together. That's a perfect I game. Uno card. I used to have Elsa Uno card, but those things didn't last long. When you play with something a lot, sometimes they don't stay as well as they were. Some of them got ripped up. The rest, they got torn up. Sounds like you play a hard game of Uno. I usually lose. What? Yeah, but when my sister's pitting at her card, I sneakily peek at her card. You sneakily peek. <laughs> yeah, because I usually want to sit on the couch while I'm playing, you know? Because when you sit on the couch, you can stand up on the couch and see people's cards. You really like to win, don't you? Yeah. So it looks like it's almost 12.15, and I think that that's the time where your lunchtime ends, Bailey, and I don't want you to be late to your other virtual classes. Is there anything you want to say to end this conversation with, with Miss Katie, with your mentor? Yeah, I can stay a few more minutes. My next class? Hmm. No, you better get ready for your positivity project. Mom, really? Really? You're still <laughs> in school, baby. I can't miss one positivity project. No, um, y'all will be meeting every week, right? Or how often will you be meeting? Yeah, so that's the goal. The goal is that um, that the mentors will provide support to the students once a week. Um, and so this one, since since Katie and Bailey are brand new to each other, I'm uh -huh. doing like Zoom meetings for the first time for those mentors and kids so that they have that face-to-face -face introduction. And then we're going to get started with the actual texting platform either the week before Thanksgiving or the week after. So um, the next time you hear from from Miss Katie will be either the week before Thanksgiving or the week after. Okay. And she'll be texting uh, Bailey through Bailey's Mainer ISD email. You heard that through your Mainer ISD email? I know what that is, Ma. <laughs> okay then. Okay then. I guess we'll just. Um, so she's gonna. Um, okay, that's fine. We'll just yeah. um, see how it goes. And if you have any questions, um, if uh -huh. you have any questions mm -hmm. before that, like if you're, if Bailey's needing any support before we get to, you know, the week before Thanksgiving or the week after, feel free to uh -huh. text me. You have my cell phone number. Um, yeah. You know, during a regular school year without COVID, a lot of mentors would reach out to me and say, hey, Myra, like I know Mentor Mainer is only school-based, but I want to do additional stuff with my mentee outside of school, which could be like a phone call or even like a Zoom thing. And I would always tell mentors that's something that you can agree with the parent. So if you want something like that and, and Miss Katie wants something like that, that would be an agreement between both of you. But I'm always here to provide support and help y'all get connected in that way. Okay. 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 All right. I got it. And it'll start off with, and it's going to start off with texting, and then hopefully in January, we'll add some safe video features, you know, so that they could see each other through camera, but through the Go Mentor platform. Okay, okay then. That sounds like a plan. You hear that, Bailey? Yeah. So when am I going to school? I am not sure about that just yet, but we'll discuss it later, kids. Finish your Zoom. All right. Well, it was a pleasure seeing you again, Bailey. You look so beautiful, and I just enjoyed your conversation with Miss Katie, and I can't wait for both of y'all to get started again, hopefully the week before Thanksgiving or the week after. Okay? I can't wait to talk to you again, Bailey. I got one more question. You have an action figure? Do I have an action figure? Because I know I got one. Can I see? Whoa, who is that? Thor. <sighs> what is so magical about Thor? You didn't talk. Avengers, assemble! Whoa. 
So before we say goodbye, so you can do your positivity project, if you could have one superpower, what would your superpower be? Uh, can heal, can heal people. Mm, making them do what you want them to do? Yeah, like if I, like if I wanted to go to the store and I had no money, I can like give me 10 bucks. And they gave me ten bucks. A really good superpower idea. Mine was gonna be to fly, but now I kind of want yours. Fly? To fly, so I could go anywhere like a bird. Fly. Mm hmm. All right, my friend. It is time for your positivity project. I'm so glad I got to meet you. I cannot wait until we get to start talking again. Bye. Will you think of some more good questions for me? Awesome. I think a lot more. Perfect. Sure, I can't make, wait. And make sure you write them down so you don't forget. Okay, guys, y'all have a great weekend and take care and stay safe. Bye, Bye Bailey. Bye. Bye.